city cases tonight, number three on the agenda uh, is CU 2019-04. Mr. Matt, that's all yours. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, there are three public hearing items from the city of Valdosta cases. Um, the first one is a conditional use permit request by Diana Martinez. Um, this is for property that consists of 0.48 acres. Um, it is owned R6. This is out on what I call the Dogwood Drive or Dogwood Circle neighborhood. Um, this is along the northwest side of East Park Avenue uh, between J.C. Shack Road and Interpermitter Road. Um, this entire neighborhood um, was once a county island that was annexed in 2006. Um, I described the history of it there in your packet. Um, curiously, it had agricultural zoning um, that the development of the houses in there was a mixture of types. Um, back even before Lowndes County adopted zoning, it was an old area. And then when it was annexed into the city, it was given R6 zoning, which is single family residential. Um, the maps on the screen are, match the ones in your packet. This shows the zoning pattern of the area. Um, aerial imagery um, shows different rooftops of the houses. And then for this case, um, because the request is for a manufactured home, I added another map. Um, and I thought I'd put it in here. Go on to the next one, see if I got them out of order. Uh, maybe not. Is that the one with the dots? In your packet, there is a dot map. Okay. There is one that shows green dots for each site built home. All right. And then there's a red letter M for each manufactured home. And like we talked about at the work session, if you do the mathematics on it, um, it is 12.5% or one eighth of the neighborhood in these manufactured homes. Um, a lot of the development trend of that has been for site built single family. Um, the mobile home they're proposing is a double wide, it meets the city standards for um, individual mobile homes um, in terms of roof pitch and roof overhang, masonry underskirting. The side plan in your packet shows a 28 by 48 dwelling uh, with side yard setbacks of 30 feet and 48 <coughs> feet respectively. That's indicative of the half acre lot size. There is plenty of room to situate it on here. There's an existing well and septic tank, um, but because of it being in the city limits and city water and sewer services being available, um, any development on this property will be required to tie in. Um, and some of those comments are there in your packet from the utilities <laughs> department. Uh, moving on to the next slide, these are the schematics of the proposed dwelling. You notice the pitch roof, and then on the next one, you see also the masonry underpinning there. Um, this is one that they picked out. It is a brand new one, and I believe it's from a local dealer. Um, like we talked about in the work session, uh, typically in neighborhoods where the housing pattern is mixed um, or sufficiently mixed, um, we recommend approval of those because it doesn't really change the character. Um, in this particular case, one eighth of the neighborhood is not something that staff believes is <coughs> so it is increasing um, a housing pattern of a housing type that's no longer or not prevalent there. And then added to the notion that many of the homes in there are have got a few years to them, including some of the mobile homes. Uh, one of them is a single Y that is 60, 1964, which is, some of us remember that year, some of us do not. Very well, I do not. Uh, it was a long time ago. Um, moving on through the rest of the pictures, you have the subject property, which is a vacant lot. It did have a mobile home on it uh, many years ago. It was removed in 2012. The next slide shows the property to the west, which is an existing manufactured home, um, one of the few that are in the neighborhood. And then continuing on through some of the adjacent properties, this is a church that's directly across the street. And you can tell the yard committee has not been there recently. Um, I have some earlier pictures of that, and it, it looked a lot different. And then some other dwellings, we can just run through these. These are some of the site-built homes. Some of them even look like modular homes, but it's hard to tell without getting up closer to them. Um, some of them are very well-kept yards, some of them better than others. And then moving through, some of the newer ones in the past 15, 20 years are site-built homes that you see more typical in some of our suburban neighborhoods. Um, some of these are on Dogwood Circle, and then a couple of them, like this one and the one before, are on Lonesome Dove, which is the street behind. And actually, these two homes are directly behind the subject property. Um, so it's a mixed pattern for sure. Site-built single-family is the dominant housing type, and all of the newer ones in there are site-built single-family. 
Um, so with that, staff has found the request inconsistent with the comprehensive plan and the conditional use review criteria as answer if they are in your packet. And we are uh, recommending denial of this request. We're glad to answer any questions you may have. Uh, one note, the applicant is here. Um, English is not her first language, which I think she does pretty well. And I explained to her that you all are nice people, <laughs> so I'm sure you will not prove me wrong. All right, thank you. Do we have questions for staff? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I do appreciate you including a, a couple of photos for us tonight. Uh, and, and as your remarks do, that there are some sticked up properties there that could also go back to 1964. Which, yes. I remember that. I want you for the record. I didn't remember that. Uh, but also, too, the thing that gets me is we, we, we want to be inconsistent with this and deny this, but we have an adjacent property right beside it that's got something that any day could fall down. I should say that out loud. I apologize for saying that. But I, mean, I just uh, I think it's kind of hard to, to say that even though there's some out there that's not consistent with, with, with our seating plan. Uh, Matt, did you say in your meetings with the applicants that they were under the impression when they acquired the property that they would be able to put a, this is called, this is called a manufactured home? It's a manufactured home. They knew there would be this public hearing process yeah. required and when it would take approval by the city council. Um, they were, I think, particularly hopeful that they could use the existing well and septic that are there. Um, even though they have not been used in at least seven years. Um, but I was skeptical at the time that the city would allow that because we just spent an awful lot putting water and sewer infrastructure throughout the neighborhood. Um, and I knew it would come out in the review from utilities department. Um, and as the comments you see there in the packet, the water and sewer is stubbed out to the property, which means that whether it be a manufactured home or a site built home, anything on that property, they're going to require to tie in. Um, as far as the condition of the existing well and septic, I do not know. Um, my guess is since it's not been used and it's probably got a few years on it anyway, um, it might be a problem to try and use it as well. Um, it's between them and the utilities and health department, if the well is still functional, it might be a good irrigation well. And with a half acre yard, it might be a good idea, depending on how much, how often they want to mow the half acre. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. My question is, there was a mobile home about seven years ago. We have imagery from different years from Street View. Um, 2008 and 2010 show one sitting there. It was similar to the one next door. And then in the fall of 2012, it shows a vacant lot. And as you see in the picture, probably all that's left is the old, old power pole. Um, so in the fall of 2012 or earlier is when it left. Matt, has the applicant purchased this property or is it a They lease? purchased it recently. Okay. I think just a few months ago. Yeah, they moved. Okay. They moved to other states. Okay, I tell you what, if we don't have any other questions for staff, then we'll go into the public hearing portion and uh, invite anyone up who would like to speak um, in favor of this request. So now would be your opportunity, ma'am, to come forward. Would you come forward to the podium, please? Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Diana, and it's like, um, 2729 Dogo Circle. Um, I tried to bring a mobile home right here. I buoyed the land for buoyed um, primary residents. So, and I tried to go through the roof. I go to check the mobile home size and all, you know. And I take a couple orientations, you know. And, well, he explained everything. So you've purchased, you and your husband have purchased the property already? Yeah. Okay. It's ready and it's, you know, the land is paid full and, okay. you know, I try I work for that. Okay. So. I understand. Okay. Do we, 
They got it three months ago. I went yeah. and it was that's off of the tax mm -hmm. card. But that's okay. when they purchased it. They live here in town. They live in apartments on South Fry Street. Right. And I think they're trying to get into a different neighborhood. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Do we have questions for our presenter? Our, um... So we were discussed with you if you got your request approved that you would have to look up to the city services. Or yeah, I did. Um, I. That I have everything, you know, the setting and, the, and everything. So I need first the zoning approval, you know, for the people of the mobile home check everything, you know, and if you know, I need fixes, I fix it because I put in the mobile home right here. But I need the permit zone first because I need the permit for the setting and the permit, you know, it's a process. So this is the first one. If you, I don't have that, this permit, I, you know, no make. The other permit. Yeah. You understand? So this is perfect. Okay. But if I understand correctly, you're not going to be able to use the city. You may be able to use the well for irrigation, for irrigation right. but you would have to hook up to the city system for water. Consumer. For water, Do yes. you understand that? Yes, but the water city is in the other street, in the Lansome, Lan Lansome street, but in my street is, you know, common. But now, no, it's water the city. Yeah. That's a matter that there's no services on the street. According to the utilities department, Dogwood Circle through there has both uh -huh. water and sewer. But now, no. No have water too. Okay. No, it's in the process. He takes the other street, so now okay. it's in my street. But I have that connection and everything. Okay. So I'm waiting for, you know, yeah. maybe first use the my water and then, you know. Okay. But if, so if, if in the future the time comes where water, city water and sewer is available and you're required to put to it, are you okay with that? Yes. You I, are? I, I check everything before I put this land. So okay. I have, you know, I take a couple other things. Okay. And I have family in the other street, so she's playing, you know, everything. And you have the Commons and City Utilities Department on page five. And if the comments <coughs> they've given me are different than the comments they may have given her, I would like to get to the bottom of that. Okay. Um, and it may be a case where they have put the water infrastructure in Dogwood, it's just not connected mm -hmm. to a water main yet. Okay. And I know a couple of years ago in there that was the case because they were waiting on the water extensions um, out for the high school. Yeah. But maybe they just have to tap it. All right. Well, they were wanting to pave the road, and that was a little bit further down the schedule than the water and sewer system. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to pave it and then dig it all up to lay pipes. So they went ahead and put the pipes in the road, paved it, and then it was to be connected to the main mm -hmm. system later. And my impression is that's already been connected. But that's what I'll get to the bottom of. Okay. Let's see. Um, part of what we talked about was the alternative types of housing. Um, explain that a, a modular home or a regular site built home would not require this process mm -hmm. and it was certainly eligible for that. Um, Trini, could you go back to um, the subject property for Molly, please? Hey, Matt, did, what, what kind of siding is going to be on this? Right there. What kind of siding? I'm certain it's vinyl siding. For all, all it has over. to be a durable siding. Yeah. And it's like clean. It's better. If you look on page four, the letter 2G, it gives you the listing of materials for siding. Brick, masonry, stone, siding of wood, party board, aluminum, or vinyl. Okay. And there was a standard manufactured right. home, not something. All right. Do we have any other questions for our presenter? Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, is there anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? We have a few minutes left, if so. Okay? We've got about three minutes. I will need three minutes. <laughs> My name is Gretchen Quarterman, and I live at 6565 Quarterman World. Um, we shouldn't be being mean to people who want to live in a house that they can afford. Um, this woman can afford a manufactured home and she bought a piece of property to put it on. 
she should be allowed to put that house on that home, on that piece of property. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? All right. If not, is there anyone tonight who wishes to speak against the request? Anyone tonight here who wishes to speak against this request? <coughs> <clears throat> All right, if not, then I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for any discussion. I'll entertain a motion. Madam Chair. Yes. Um, it appears that the applicant did her homework, her research regarding rules, regulations, and <coughs> and has already purchased this property and is wanting to put on the property what was previously on the property. Um, and staff has told us that the, um, the mobile home meets the city requirements. For the, uh, the lot size is adequate to do what she plans to do. Um, and also pointed out that there are several site built homes there that resemble very closely mobile homes. I mean, you know, and if you look at those site built homes, in some cases it is difficult to tell that they are site built and not modular pre manufactured homes. <coughs> so, uh, the applicant is also aware of the uh, city sewer uh, and water situation and has no opposition to that and no one is here to speak against her may follow through with her plans to say this. So uh, having said that, I'd like to make a motion that we approve this request for conditional use. Okay. All right. Any discussion on the motion? All right. If not, all those uh, voting in favor of the motion, please raise your right hand. All those voting against? All right, motion carries, and that is unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Good luck to you and your family. Thank you. All right.